Amidst the early morning downpour, Justice Simon Biawaka Mamugenyi, the chairperson of the Electoral Commission, handed over documents showing ownership of the former Electoral Commission head office located at Plot 55 Ginger Road to officials of the Uganda National Roads Authority. This has been the home of the Electoral Commission for 26 years, from where they have conducted five national elections, among other activities. Justice Biabakama says that Electoral Commission and UNRWA have exchanged all the relevant documents and UNRWA has duly compensated the electoral body to the tune of 23 billion Uganda shillings. The new temporary Electoral Commission offices are now on 7th Street Industrial Area as the institution works on moving to their permanent home in Uruboa. In the new place where we are, we are supposed to be there on a temporary basis. The final journey is to our state-of-the-art home, which is supposed to be constructed in Ruboa. And that process is also ongoing. We hope to be attained or accomplished in the not near, in the not too distant future. The former Electoral Commission office land is about 1.09 hectares and has been handed to the contract manager of the Kampala flyover project lot on, engineer Lawrence Pario, who is also the head of bridges and structures in UNRWA. Pario says that they will now embark on lot two of the project. We could not start construction on lot two because we had challenges of uh, land. Uh, the lot two is going to span over this area. In lot one of the flyover project, the contractor has done drainage channels, the flyover at clock tower, pedestrian bridges among others. According to Lawrence Pario, lot two will see the widening of the road, bus terminal, among others. These are all meant to smoothen traffic flow in and outside the city. For traffic, uh, which are picking up from Kwano Road to Jinja Road, and also uh, traffic from uh, Yusuf Ulule Road going to Jinja Road, and also going to Mkwano Road will fly up. We are going to have um, spaghetti of complex structures here, as high as 30 meters. So traffic going to Jinja Road will be able to move onto the flyover without necessarily going down. The traffic weaving down will only be the traffic which is, which is moving locally within the city. Lot 2 of the project is expected to be complete in 48 months. However, UNRWA is yet to procure the contractor. Engineer Pario also says they will need an additional 200 million US dollars to work on the interface between the flyover and the proposed standard gauge railway line.